Hello, everybody. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki Doki Literature Club. I've been wanting to play this and record this for you guys for quite a while. As you can see, I have been using a webcam. I've been editing differently. It's all different. I'm going to start streaming and streaming on Twitch. I have a Twitch, Mage Boy TTV. I'm not trying to. Let's just get into the game, okay? Get into the game. Anime Girls. Love it. Horror game. How? Let's find out. New game. And by the way, I have, like, recorded this, like, the first episode, but it got corrupted. So, it was, like, it was, like, 10 minutes. But I'm going to try to make it 20 minutes this time, so. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighborhood, neighborhood, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you guys known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just idle and sigh. No, not idle and sigh. Psst. Ah. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk to let Sayori catch up with me. <sighs> I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop for you. Stop and wait for you. Uh, you can't say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Majin Kun. Yes, I'm Majin Kun. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Majin Kun, have you decided on joining a club? What cl ugh. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't. <laughs> I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn to socialize or have any skills before college, like me right now. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy right now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat, a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it's gonna make you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by some carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent her. Relent to her. Ugh. I guess seeing her worry about me so much makes me want to ease her mind a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things and stare blankly at a wall looking for an ounce of motivation. No, oh, I found it. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with an anime club. Hello, Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only 
one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out in the, out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. It's going If it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Sayori's so, like, needy. It's okay. No, I'm not even gonna... No judgment. Yeah, there is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. See, I wish I, I know all this because the video file corrupt the first time, so it's okay. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she would... She thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That said, my interest is... Uh, blah. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. And if she's so cunning as to have planned out all this, ugh, planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Why I say it like it? Yes, let's go! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I did. His name is Moist. Moist Cupcakes. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for my third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Girl one. Girl one. Sayori is always saying nice things about you. Girl two. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Girl three. Ah, Meijin kun. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. It's Monica. I love Monica. Monica's so. All words escape me in this situation. This club? It's full of incredibly cute girls, Monica. What are you looking at? If you were, if you want to say something, say it. S Sorry, Natsuki. Hmph. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think sh this is. Uh, she's probably a first year. Freshy. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Oh, she made MJ, okay. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh, you can just, okay, well, fuck. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. I love Monica. That's right. It's great to see you again, Meijin kun. Monica smiles sweetly. Yes. Mm. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, mannequin. Come sit down, Mission Kun. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's 
been widened, so there's one more space next to Monica, or one more space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori, which is a bad move on me. Bad. Bad. I'm yelling at the mic. Bad. Yelling at the camera. Bad. Natsuki probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off of the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy, moist cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at make, make, making, baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one, then Monica, and then I follow. It's delicious. Uh. Sayori talks with her mouth full as she, oh, oh, oh. Ooh, you got some competition, Manika. <laughs> Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Then the icing is, the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? made them for you or anything. Hmm. Uh, I thought you technically did, Say Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, no, you dummy. Uh, ugh. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup. I like Yuri too. She has purple hair. Purple's my favorite color. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot, hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I... I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know? I, I believe... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider joining the literature club? Uh, you? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Not a good look. Not a good look. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori really seemed happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major, major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling my dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to get to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all, you know, their effort starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like festival, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. 
Maka must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. A boy. <laughs> Me, Majin Kun. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Majin Kun, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really know any good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she has, well, she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that uh, build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship, craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Oh my god, I can't speak. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her lies, her lies, her lies, she lied, her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. It's, isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately taking advantage of your own lack of imagination to come? completely throw you for a loop. It's like I'm rapping right now. I can't even speak. Anyway, I believe reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. Or, I read. I read. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp to something I can relate with on a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But, oh god, I didn't see her eyes. She's looking at me. Okay, but if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. But why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give That Back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just so is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share, so uh, share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing how even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. This song's a banger, dude. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Ugh. That way, everyone is even. Um, dot dot dot. Yeah, let's do it. 
plus now that we even have a new member i think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other strengthen the bond of the club isn't that right meijinkun monica smiles warmly at me once again hold on there's still one problem what's that now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club i bluntly come forth for what's been on my mind this entire time I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still might have other clubs to look at. And um, I lose my train of thought. All the girls are just staring at me right now. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, oh, no, Monica. I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. <laughs> Meijin kun. Ah. Meijin-kun, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? All four of them are just sad that their Meijin-kun cannot, you know. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right, dude, what the hell is wrong with you? Just, just go. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Hell yeah. One by one, these girls' eyes light up. Let's watch them go. Watch them go. Yes, I'm so happy. Uh, Sayori's happy. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <sighs> hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then let's make it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting and we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Meijin-kun, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Can Josh find a way to play this game again? Will MJ make a guest star appearance with Natsuki's Cupcakes? Find out next time on the new episode of Dragon Ball Z- No, it's fine. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat and Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Meishinku, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart to the club room and make our way home. The whole way, mind, mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And my baby girl, Monica. Will I really be happy spending all day every day after school in this literature club? I would shit. Boy, stop complaining. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, they just Thanosed away, oh my god. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright boys, ladies, girls, men. Gentlemen, kids, fellas, it's time to write a poem. Let's pick some words with the cl favorite club member. My favorite. Where's Where's Monica? Why can't I? So this is as far as I got, okay? Marriage, frightening. Let's see what Monica would love, because... Monica would love love. Oh, but no, not boop. That's more of a Natsuki thing. Uh, okay, we got treasures. Amazing. We got strawberry. No, that's a Natsuki thing. God damn it. Uh, why is there depression? Maybe Yuri? Just in case, I'll do. I'll do. You know. Why did you guys see Sayori jump up when Natsuki? Wait, wait. Sayori jumped when I clicked depression. Okay. Uh, melancholy. Okay, there's. See, so you're telling me that Sayori's depressed? A lollipop. Wow. There you go. Okay, it's kind of even right now. Beauty. Okay, uh, silly. Okay, so she's kind of... Okay, this is kind of like describing what she would be to me, you know? 
Let's see. Uh, I think the camera just went out there. If it didn't, I won't. I won't cut anything. But I thought the camera just went off for a second. That was weird. Uh, happiness. Okay. Hi again, Majin Kun. Glad to see you didn't run away on it. Okay, so this is the next day. We just did our poems. Uh, I'm gonna cut it this episode. I'm gonna make it like 20 something. I don't know how long. It might be 30 minutes. I don't know. But I'm gonna save. Obviously, you guys can see my previous saves. They're all corrupted. I, I already tried. So, yeah, it was on August 1st. So it was like five days before my birthday. I was. It was one I did that uh, the middle school Facebook video. But. We're gonna save over it because they got corrupted. We're just gonna save over them. There we go. And that's it. That's the first episode, chapter, whatever you wanna call it, of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, I just wanna let you guys know I have a Twitch now for my uh, for my YouTube and content creating. I, I just figured you guys might want to see me on live on Twitch sometimes. So go check out my Twitch. It's in the description down below. Follow LJ Cool Kid. He got a new uh, new YouTube channel. Follow my boy Glenn G. He is about to hit Twitch affiliate. Moist Cupcakes for the win. MJ, you're in Alaska right now. Hopefully you're having a great time in Alaska, buddy. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you. And thank you for all the love. And peace out. Here's the outro.